Okay, thank you, Greg. Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, Daniele Bussini from uh, Innovab, Italy, and uh, my presentation uh, is somehow complementary to the previous one from Greg. Uh, I will talk about the uh, eco paper loop approach for the life cycle assessment of uh, printed paper products, and uh, I will talk uh, about the sustainability calculator. Um, we are still finishing uh, to develop in the project, but uh, it's uh, almost uh, done. Um, the eco paper loop approach to sustainability um, is focused on the end of life phase of the LCA, like Greg already uh, explained, and uh, especially on the evaluation of the environmental sustainability of the recycling and the inking process. Um, in my presentation, I, I, uh, I will show three different uh, uh, activities we have done uh, uh, on this topic. Uh, a case study, uh, an LCA case study for the evaluation of newspapers. Uh, and uh, it will uh, be a comparison between uh, two different average product categories. And uh, uh, the, the scope uh, is to show the assessment of different uh, uh, recycling options and uh, recycling loops. Uh, the other activity is uh, a research uh, study uh, for the, um, to, to understand the most important uh, uh, parameters uh, affecting the sustainability of recycling. And finally, the sustainability calculator, uh, which is a software-based uh, tool uh, and that will be available on the project website at the end uh, of, um, of the project. And uh, it's a kind of summary of uh, uh, all the study I will present about uh, uh, recycling and environmental parameters. Uh, LCA of newspapers, <coughs> the case study, uh, is uh, uh, the comparison between a standard offset uh, um, newspaper and a, a standard flexographic newspaper. Uh, the scope uh, is to, to evaluate, uh, uh, to, to compare two different product categories and uh, especially uh, for the recycling, uh, different recycling option. Uh, offset newspapers are considered recyclable within the graphic paper loop uh, by flotation de inking, which is the standard uh, technology at least uh, um, in Europe. Uh, flexo newspapers are considered uh, undeinkable under standard flotation de inking because of the ink uh, composition, but uh, uh, products can still be uh, recycled in other paper loop, for instance, packaging paper loop. Um, <coughs> for, the, uh, for the LCA study, um, we have used uh, the, the same uh, um, software and database uh, as Gregory the presented for the packaging case study. Uh, for the inventory, which is the data collection phase, we used the database uh, uh, data from the uh, database EcoInvent version uh, 3, uh, plus some industry data and the literature data. Uh, the functional unit in this case is still uh, one kilogram of uh, uh, ready-to-use printed product. And the software is SIMA Pro uh, 803 and the same uh, uh, recipe impact assessment method. <coughs> um, the most uh, relevant impact categories uh, are the same for, for, uh, um, for this case as for the packaging case. Uh, so, uh, basically, they are the impact categories more related to paper and pulp production. Uh, so, uh, they are agricultural and urban land occupation, uh, climate change, and fossil fuel and mineral depletion. Uh, in particular, in this case, uh, in particular, this uh, category is uh, uh, associated to the production of chemicals uh, used for the inking. Uh, the endpoint damage categories are the same uh, as evaluated in, in the previous study, human health, uh, ecosystems, and uh, uh, resources. Uh, these are the, gen the general assumptions for uh, the study regarding the products and the processes evaluated. Uh, so the same paper grade uh, is used for uh, uh, both offset and flexo uh, newspapers. The new sprint is made uh, of uh, uh, deep containing pulp, about 77% deep, 
So uh, most of the paper is uh, recycled, is from recycled fibers, and 23% visits in cellular fibers. Um, the energy consumption and the general impact of the two printing technologies uh, are considered the same, and the uh, uh, real differences are not uh, um, significant for, um, with respect to the overall uh, uh, life cycle. Uh, the flexo ink is, to po is supposed to have the same pigments uh, as the offset ink, but without the lightweight uh, uh, oils fraction and solvents, which uh, accounts about 47% for the uh, offset ink. The ink consumption is uh, um, 2.5% <coughs> for uh, um, the offset printing and about double for uh, uh, the flexographic printing. Uh, this is the um, specific uh, uh, assumption for the end of life of both uh, um, products. 90% of used newspapers are collected and recycled in the paper loop from uh, uh, municipal collection plus uh, shops returns. And the remaining amount is disposed uh, uh, as landfill and incineration in, in the same proportion as for uh, municipal solid waste. Uh, more specific assumption for the end of life of the two uh, product categories. Offset uh, can be recycled within the same paper loop, graphic paper loop, uh, by using uh, the inking process with a standard flotation technology. Uh, we consider a two-loop uh, flotation plant uh, with a um, process yield of 80%. Uh, <coughs> the de-inking sludge, which is the the remaining 20% uh, is considered uh, disposed as, as landfill and incineration. For Flexo, the specific assumption for the end of life uh, is that newspapers are not de-inkable by using uh, a standard flotation uh, plant because of the water-based ink uh, which is dissolving in the, in the pulp suspension. Uh, products can be recycled in other paper loop, uh, loops like, uh, for, for instance, packaging paper loop. Uh, this uh, uh, mis means uh, still recycling, but uh, uh, for the production of a different uh, uh, paper grade, so it's a uh, kind of downgrading. And uh, therefore, the benefit of recycling in this case uh, is, is considered out, <coughs> out of the system boundaries of the study, and uh, any benefit can be accounted for, uh, for the LCA. Uh, this is the process tree for the offset newspaper. And um, on the right, the, it's a zoom of the most uh, uh, important uh, processes. Um, so you can see, uh, as in the previous uh, study, uh, the red arrows represent the environmental impacts, while the green arrows, the environmental benefits. Um, the, the, the bars, uh, the bars here, and uh, the arrow, the, the wide of the arrows uh, represents the intensity of the uh, impacts uh, or uh, the benefits. So uh, also in this case, you, you can, uh, as in the previous one, you can see uh, the benefit of recycling in this uh, green arrow, which is closing the loop from the disposal up to uh, the new raw material for the production of, of new newspaper. This is the same uh, process tree with the special focus on uh, disposal scenario. Um, it can be seen uh, um, already the, the, the green arrow that is going to uh, disposal scenario for recycling. And uh, you can also see the impact of landfill and incineration, which is uh, really minor because uh, uh, most of the 90% of the material is uh, recycled. Uh, this is the same uh, similar process tree for the uh, flexo case. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, there, is, there is no uh, green arrows because uh, uh, recycling is not uh, within the same paper loop. So the material at the end of life is not, uh, 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 is not used for the production of the same pulp. So uh, the, the benefit of, the, of recycling is going uh, out of the system boundaries. 
and uh, the same uh, um, <coughs> the same aspect can be seen uh, in, in this uh, process three with, with the focus on uh, disposal scenario. Uh, in this case, the um, the landfill and incineration uh, end of life is still very low because 90% of the product is uh, recovered and recycled, but is recycled in another loop. So the benefit uh, in, in the process of recycling now is, uh, uh, is zero. Uh, these are the results for the full life cycle uh, regarding the different uh, uh, impact categories uh, uh, evaluated. Um, the impact categories are the same uh, uh, as uh, in the previous study. And um, it can be seen that for uh, all the impact categories in a different level, but uh, for all the categories, the uh, impact of for the uh, offset newspaper is lower than uh, the, the, new, the Flexo newspaper. Uh, especially, this is especially true for uh, the highest bars uh, regarding the same, the most important categories that I mentioned before. Uh, climate change, uh, agricultural land occupation, and natural land transformation. Um, this is uh, the, the, um, the same results uh, explained as uh, damage categories. So uh, end point results, not mid point results. Uh, the three uh, end point, the three damage categories are uh, uh, summing the different uh, uh, previous impact categories in just the three main uh, um, bars. And uh, the results uh, uh, look very similar. So the, the newspaper case is better, or at least the impact is lower for uh, all the three categories. Um, this is the, um, another way uh, to, to show the, result, the end point results. So um, uh, on the left, uh, you can see the total score for uh, uh, offset newspaper. And on the right, uh, it's the total score for Flexo newspaper. So you have the contribution of the three different uh, uh, damage categories uh, um, divided per uh, product category. So the um, main conclusion of this study uh, is that the process with the highest impact uh, uh, for printed uh, newspapers is the pulp production, pulp production for the paper manufacturing um, because of the recycling and the chemi-mechanical chemi process for uh, uh, the production of cellulose. The printed process accounts about 5% of the impact of the offset newspaper and about 4.2% for Flexo, and it's very minor um, with respect to paper and pulp production. The most important environmental advantage is the possibility of recycling the material within the same uh, production loop, uh, so reducing the amount uh, of raw material required. Uh, recycling has a positive effect in all the impact categories, and uh, mainly in the categories where the pulp production uh, is, more, uh, um, is more evident. This is a, a very short uh, <coughs> introduction of the second main activity we have done uh, in, in Eco Paper Loop regarding uh, the sustainability of graphic products. Uh, it's a more uh, research-oriented study to, uh, to figure out a more precise and detailed uh, process for the evaluation of the end of life, uh, uh, recycling and the inking. So we try to implement uh, uh, a better process with respect to the, the ones uh, uh, already available, uh, for example, in, in EcoInvent, uh, for the LCA. Uh, so uh, we had to answer the <laughs> we, we, we need to answer uh, those questions. So which are the most important environmental emissions uh, uh, in recycling? What are the most important inking parameters affecting environmental emissions of recycling? Uh, how are they connected and uh, uh, how can we evaluate the environmental performances of the recycling process depending on uh, uh, the inking parameters. 
Uh, I, ca I will not explain all, all the work, uh, but just give an example of what uh, um, we have done uh, for uh, the newspaper uh, product category. <coughs> uh, we, we have created a, a table, uh, in that, in that table, uh, with the most important uh, the inking parameters selected for this purpose, that they are luminosity and their specs. Uh, thanks to, uh, to engage cooperation, we also got uh, uh, average values uh, lower and limit uh, for uh, these parameters. And uh, um, by analyzing literature and industry data, uh, we selected the most important environmental emissions for, for the inking, which is energy consumption and uh, the inking uh, chemicals consumption. So uh, we, managed, we managed to fill uh, um, these tables, and um, <coughs> uh, this ta the same approach was done for uh, uh, uncoated magazines and coated magazines. So uh, all these uh, um, values and the results uh, are then uh, summed up uh, somehow in the sustainability calculator. Uh, which is a more uh, um, easy to use tool uh, based on this, uh, on this study. So coming to the sustainability calculator, uh, it's a web-based software tool uh, for a simplified calculation of uh, um, the environmental sustainability of printed products, actually not only printed products but also packaging products. Um, <coughs> it uses uh, an LCA approach, especially uh, focused on the end of life, uh, uh, the inking and the recycling. Uh, the inputs for uh, uh, the sustainability tool are uh, uh, values for the inkability parameters uh, if, you, if uh, uh, specific results for a specific product are, are available. If they are not available, um, average uh, um, Average parameters for uh, uh, one of the product category can be used uh, for uh, calculating the environmental emissions of the, the average product for that category. Uh, the outputs uh, are uh, the, the chemicals and electricity consumption uh, as average values and uh, uh, carbon dioxide emissions. Uh, this is uh, how the, the, um, the sustainability calculator looks like. It's not uploaded in the website, uh, but it will be done uh, in the next weeks. Uh, the, the tool uh, is uh, almost uh, um, completed for graphic products, but still has to be completed for packaging. And uh, it, it needs uh, to, be, um, to be tested with the... Uh, with a real case, with, with real products. But the idea is that uh, um, the user can choose to analyze uh, a graphic paper, a graphic printing product, or a packaging paper product. In the first case, uh, you, you can, uh, uh, the user can uh, um, evaluate a specific product if uh, results, uh, um, specific results are available or uh, to evaluate uh, um, <coughs> product category uh, average results if uh, specific uh, um, data from, uh, from the test are not available. In the first case, I, uh, the user can select one of the three uh, categories I mentioned before, so offset newspapers, uncoated magazines, or coated magazines. Let's see the case of newspapers. Uh, the, the input uh, requested is a value for luminosity and the dirt specs, so the user has to know uh, a value for these uh, parameters. And the output, uh, at least uh, is still in a very simplified way, but the output, uh, it will be uh, the amount of uh, sodium hydroxide and silicate used for the inking the electricity consumption and uh, the, um, the, the emission of C or car carbon dioxide equivalent according to global warming potential and uh, uh, LCA calculation. 
So going back to the beginning, if you don't have a specific, uh, if you don't have specific values for your product, you can evaluate a, a generic product category. So in this case, uh, more uh, options are available, and uh, let's see again the case of uh, newspapers. In this case, the uh, uh, the, the software. Uh, gives you the, the, amount, the average level for luminosity and the specs because uh, it, it suppose they are not known so uh, you get as output a value an average value for luminosity and the specs uh, these values can be used for the same calculation of uh, uh, environmental emission and carbon dioxide so you can use these values for the calculation and get uh, basically the same results, so uh, chemicals consumption, uh, electricity consumption, and uh, carbon dioxide uh, emissions. <coughs> so this is a, a, first, um, a first look for this uh, uh, software tool. It uh, uh, should be uh, completed for packaging, but uh, um, it will be done uh, in the next weeks and it will be uh, available for, uh, for the public. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniela. Are there any questions? <laughs> yeah. Uh, only short question. You mentioned always that incineration is also minor, but it is still a part of the story. So, and uh, uh, if you show your your slides. Normally, um, bad impact is red and uh, good impact is, blue, is, is green, uh, but incineration is always red, but you harvest energy. Is the energy you get is so small that uh, it's still red? Yes, uh, we, uh, we consider the, the energy recovery for incineration anyway, even if uh, that, that is considered the impact for, uh, for incineration is negative. It means that uh, there is an environmental impact for incineration. So the energy recovery is not uh, uh, sufficient to, to compensate the emissions for the incineration. So uh, incineration is always negative for, for, for the LCA approach. If I, can, if I can also answer. You basically have two types of incineration. Incineration without energy recovery and incineration with energy recovery. And uh, then uh, when you consider it even further, you have like different types of incinerations even further down the line. But most generally when so using the LCA approach, uh, the energy with, uh, the incineration with energy recovery has still got like a positive uh, environmental impact. It means that it's not going to go on, on green. But the one without energy uh, recovery, incineration without energy recovery, has got a bit bigger. Okay. So that's, okay. that's how it works. Yeah. But there are some cases when incineration has actually got a positive impact, especially when it's being done on site. Yeah. Because there are some companies that can actually uh, circulate their own uh, gas, for instance. And then you have, you have it on the green. Yeah. But most generally in the municipal waste scenario, uh, it still has got uh, environmental impact. Okay, so any more questions? Okay, that's great. So yeah, I bet you are all looking forward to lunch. Thank you, Daniela.